What's up everybody, got another challenge run here for you. So in this one, I wanted to do a Netrunner focused challenge run. You see, the problem with that is Netrunners are extremely powerful. If you played this game at all, you've probably tried a Netrunner build and come to the conclusion that you are extremely overpowered. And so I thought, how can I make this harder for myself? And I thought, what if I never upgrade the starting cyber deck that I'm given? And what if I restrict myself to only using up to blue rare tier quick hacks? So that's what I did. And I'm calling it my budget net runner. As usual with all my runs, I am going to be forcing myself to go into every combat encounter and I want to clear out every enemy in those encounters. So you're going to be seeing me do a lot of optional things. Also, I decided to stream this one. I'm pretty much going to start streaming them all from now on into the future, so if you want to be a part of those streams and hang out with me as I record them, make sure to hit the notification bell. One quick thing I want to mention, life for me has been insane. I've been in sort of a transition stage moving out to Florida from where I lived in Washington State. So I had a full week of just straight driving. That was a joy. So you'll notice on my live stream that I'm in a different space than I used to be. The lighting doesn't look great. I'm using a different microphone because I played a show with my friend that I make music with and I left my microphone there like an idiot. Luckily, I got it back now and I'm using it now to record this video. So hooray. Also, we just dropped a new single if you want to check it out. But yeah, life has been crazy and I'm absolutely loving it right now. And I'm so excited to keep making this content and hanging out with you guys. Anyways, that's going to do it for an intro. Let's jump into the video. Starting up a new game, I put it on the hardest difficulty, decided to go for the Street Kid intro. And after talking with you guys, decided to try to make my guy look like Neo. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like Neo at all. And then place my starting attributes into intelligence, tech, and cool. As usual with most of these intros, they have nothing to do with my run, so we're going to kind of gloss over it. One quick side note, I forgot to hit record for the first stream I did, so the footage you're going to be seeing is going to be slightly compressed because of YouTube's compression. I had to download the video. Anyways, we, we'll get back to it. I promise it'll clear up later. Starting up the first mission of the game, Jackie and I walk into this area and I start quick hacking. Uh, breach protocol first. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah, only cost one RAM unit. Crucial. Blind him. Jackie, get in there. Rip up the shreds! I need your help with this fight, Jackie. Go! Short circuit. Bring in the target out under fire. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's hit him. Okay, so I need to back off and let the ram recover. Great. Oh, hello. Oh. This is going to be a really interesting early game, just because there's so many limitations. Get full ram again. Get him, Jack. Get him. Oh, hey, it's like the head honcho guy. Okay, this guy. This guy should go down. There you go. He's dead. Okay, so it's just a big guy left. Yeah, short circuit's not lethal, but I'm still like taking them down. Oh dang, Jackie actually killed him! Wow, oh, solid job, Jackie. Like With Sander Dorset safe, we hop into the driving segment. I try to use quick X to kill most of the dudes. However, because I'm in combat and I don't have the perk that lets me regen RAM while I'm in combat, I just kind of have to sit and wait. And if you watch any of my other runs, you know that they just run into a wall anyway. After Jackie takes me home and I wake up the next morning, we head over to Vix, I get my zoomy eyes, and I go meet up with Dex. With those story beats wrapped up, I do the quick mission that T-Bug gives you to go get the free ping quick hack and start looking at the prices for quick hacks that I want. I then invest all three perk points that I've gotten straight into RAM recovery during combat. I also run over to this warehouse picking up the free perk shard that's just in the open world and then go meet up with Meredith Stout to get the credit chip before entering all foods. Because hacking the credit chip and neutralizing the malware feels like the most Netrunner thing to do. Jackie and I then walk into all foods, meet up with Dum Dum. I do my obligatory mention of their burrito machine. By the way, their burrito machine's broken. Uh, I've tested it before. It's a disgrace to their uh, their hideout. And I give Royce the credit chip, telling him that Militech's onto them. And with that, we hop into this combat segment with a lot of help. Show now. Sits right down. Let's get the fuck out of here. No breach protocol? Why can't I breach protocol? Mm. 
Mm, yeah, let's just take care of him. Thank you. Should kill? Nice. Uh, let's, let's take out the stragglers. Oh, wow. Okay. How did, how did I die? Dang, that did half its health? Holy crap. Okay. Dang, let's go. One left. Where are you shooting? Finally. Oh my gosh. With Flathead in hand, I make my way to Lizzie's bar to meet up with Evelyn. She then shows me her brain dance with Yorinobu, where we learn where Johnny Silverhand is being kept. After making a little bit of money, I go buy the quick hack overheat at my max rare tier that I'm allowing myself and hop into the mission, the heist. Jackie and I make it into Kompeki Plaza, use the flathead to hack the Netrunner, and make our way to Yorinobu's penthouse. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Joke? I love Ow. jokes. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Why? Why, Jackie? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> After grabbing Johnny Silverhand, we hide in the TV and watch Yorinobu talk with his father before putting him down for a nap. And then we jump into the combat. Got two guards. Yeah. Okay, so we're hit you with that and you with that. Okay, let's go, Jackie. Let's get 50% more damage to unaware targets. Network breached? Oh no, did I already mess up my, uh... Stay sharp. We... Uh, I, spotted him. I know, Jackie. I need you. Freedom. Okay. Get him, Jackie. Get him. Tombs here. Yes. Let's go. Five ram. I only need four for that, right? Okay. Okay, I need to figure out how breach works or like when I should do it, when I shouldn't do it. You know what I mean? Because I feel like I did it at the wrong time on the roof if that actually is like going to restrict me from being able to do it down here. <laughs> Jackie is carrying. That's the thing is like up till the end of this mission is when it's like it's all on me now. And that's when it's probably going to get a lot more difficult. Can you stop breathing so loud? Oh, get him, Jackie. Get him. He's low. Nice. Oh, jeez. Hit him. Why couldn't I enter control mode? I was being electrocuted and I couldn't open the hacking mode. Oh, whoa. Okay, wow. All right. Nice. Hit him again. Nice. Okay. One, zero. Hit him. Come on. Ah. He detected me. Gosh dang it. Jackie, can you please, <laughs> can you please go take care of them? Why are you just sitting back here? Move, please. Thank you. Nice, Jackie. Uh, let's hit him with an overheat. Nice, big mech. Get my spot. Yeah, see, I can't breach protocol because I hit the dudes up top. That's... Okay. That's... I need to take note of that. I need to only use breach protocol okay. once I'm in a room full of a lot of dudes. Dang! 5,000 damage? <laughs> Let's go! With everyone down in the area, we hop into Delamain and get into the driving segment, where I use Quick X to slowly kill all the drones. After saying our last goodbye to Jackie, and Dex deciding we're at risk, we jump into the Johnny Silverhand flashback. I feel like I say this every run, 
Johnny doesn't apply to me. He can't quick hack. We're moving on. Waking up our own body. We say goodbye to dad, Dex, Dex, and hop into this next driving segment where I once again just use quick hacks to get through it. We get through all the cutscenes and finally get released back into the open world. After having a quick chat with Takemura, I know that there's a lot of perks that I would really like to have, but I just don't have the perk points for. However, I know that there's quite a few just perk points in the open world, so I decided to go run around and grab them. I then go run to meet up with Judy to talk about where Evelyn went and then got the call from Takemura, so I decided to just do that mission real quick where we just have a bunch of conversations. Before ending my stream, I ran over to Pacifica and a bunch of the vendors and grabbed all the quick hacks that I would want at the max level I'm allowing myself, the rare tier. The next day, I remembered to hit record, so the quality should jump back up to normal for you guys. Again, sorry about that. And I immediately started by heading up to Clouds to go save Evelyn. I decide to sneak my way around the outside and start getting to work. Okay, that'll kill him. Let's go. Let's try Contagion. I want to see what this does. How much damage are we talking total? None. 117. That's not good. Okay, we're going to breach protocol these guys. Oh yeah, I hit a lot of dudes. That's really good. Oh yeah, only three ram. Let's go. This is going to be the most riveting gameplay you guys have ever seen, okay? I just want you guys to know that. Right off the bat, this is obviously going to be the best, uh, most exciting you've ever seen. Where's my music, by the way? I need my music, my cyberpunk music. Where is it? Oh, the music started. Let's go. I get it. You know where I am. Oh, all the way back. Okay, I killed. Please don't kill me. Okay, let's wait for Ram, and then uh, we're gonna hit. Can I? <laughs> hey, bro, how you doing in there? Uh, hit him with contagion. Oh fuck you, myself! So he starts. Okay, that didn't. I thought that would like lock him down for a minute. Please don't. <laughs> Dude, Contagion did nothing to him. Please don't come out here. Please, uh, please don't come out here. Stay inside your room. Okay, that's half his health. That's good. Perfect. Thank you for peeking out your door right now. After taking down Woodman, I get the information I need and decide to go after Fingers. But I need to finish clearing out the area and start to make my way down and discover something interesting. Ugh, this combat. Let's quick save. Wait, I have an idea. What if I quick save and quick load? Does that get rid of revealing position? If you come out alone, we won't hurt you. Oh no, guys. Oh no, guys. Do I abuse it? Abuse. It's <laughs> so. Oh no, guys. Oh no. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I asked chat if they said it was okay. They said to abuse it. So uh, the entire rest of this run, I, uh, I may abuse this quite a lot. Judy and I have a nice chat with fingers, dive into a brain dance, and find where they're keeping Evelyn. All right. This section could either be really easy or absolutely horrendous. We're going to find out. Uh, do I breach protocol these dudes? I think I do. Bummer. Okay. Yo, one shot? Let's go. Surprise. Oh, this combat segment's gonna go so much better. Ugh, those other guys are tanky. I always forget that the clouds guys are actually pretty tanky. Let's hit it with contagion. Remote takeover. We'll be chilling. Should be enough damage though. It's not. Hey! That was a good combo. If they're affected by a quick hack, the cost gets reduced by two. So if I hit him with Contagion, and then I immediately hit him also with System Shock. Eat it, assholes. Dude, like this is kind of sick. Okay, I'll hit him with 
Contagion. Oh no. No, oh, you weren't supposed to see me. Clean. With Evelyn safe, we jump into the brain dances and get what we need to progress the mission. I then start running around doing some assault and progresses to make the money I need to pay for Rogue while also waiting around for some phone calls. I make it all the way to level 12 and end up getting enough money to go pay Rogue for the information on Anders. We give Pan Am a quick call and make our way to meet up with her. With my insistent curiosity in this section, I go park some cars in the prime position and go talk with Pan Am. <laughs> Yo. Oh no, it's moving. Pan Am, hurry. We gotta talk real fast. Okay, hold up, hold up, sorry. <laughs> okay, we're good. You're not moving now, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. Oh, oh. oh. As usual, being severely disappointed with how things kind of turn out, I hop into this section where we surprise attack the Raff and Shiv. And to my surprise, I get to meet my fan again. We fan? <gasps> Is the fan here again? Oh, wait. What do we do? <laughs> wait, we the fan's back. The it's it's further out. Back. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first to look for anything that might be useful. It's just going through me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Oh no! I want this to like do like I want to stand here and I want it to just toss me across the map. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can't believe it's here again. Is this going to be a new consistent glitch for me? It's just the fan. Dang it. Okay, well, I've already tested this pretty thoroughly, I feel like, so. Pan Am and I finish setting up and I start getting to work. I start off with the breach protocol and abusing the uh, save load to get rid of the reveal location, I'm able to very easily clear out this camp with pretty much no problem. After getting Pan Am's truck back, and because I'm not avoiding combat, we go after Nash. All right. Oh, no fucking Ow, Nash. <laughs> hold up, hold up, Nash. Come on, Lipton. Okay, I'm gonna do another, another strat. Ready? You run really far back, and then you crouch and get out of combat. Because <laughs> I do so much more damage when I'm not. There we go. All right, we're back in stealth mode. Dang, Pan Am, keep going. Get him. Using the stealth damage and saving and loading, I'm able to push my way through this Nash fight actually fairly easily, and we finish the mission. After having a nice debrief with Pan Am, I decide to just pretty much immediately follow up with her and go after Anders Hellman. After trespassing on a power plant and rigging it into an EMP, we make our way on top of this mountain to try and take down the AV. And since the last update Cyberpunk, I was worried my AV wouldn't dance. You catch that? Yes. Yes. Panem and I make it to the crash site, and uh, let's just say, since robots are weak to electricity, uh, Short Circuit puts in a lot of work. Panem and I save Mitch, she squats in the dirt like usual, and we make our way after Anders Hellman. We make a quick stop at the airport to make sure everyone in this area is cleared out, and then start making our way to the gas station to get to work. What? This is my they oh. to get the hill to an old filling station. <laughs> I wager that's where they're holding helmet. Pan Am, you're leaving. <laughs> where did my bike go? Pan Am, <laughs> I know she always teleported in front of you, but I didn't realize she could hit me. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm running. I don't know where the bike went. Uh, while reviewing the footage, uh, it appears my bike went to space, I think. I don't know. Now this next section with the power of quick save and quick load, uh, it goes pretty quick to say the least. We finally make our way up to Uncle Anders and then have a nice chat with him at a hotel. With this mission finished, I then run to a ripper dock real quick to equip some of the cyberware I've just found in the open world, like one that increases my RAM capacity 
Again, I'm trying to keep everything below a rare tier. I see an interesting exchange on the streets. Oh, hey, this is the fight that That's starts. I call I me a Pablo. Don't like Any it? Particular Take it reason? up. These dudes argue for a bit and then they actually start shooting each other. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> they traded. <laughs> That's some Halo stuff right there, dude. <laughs> I then make my way to meet up with Takemura and follow up with him, where we eventually make it to the Arasaka warehouse and hack the float. After surveying the area, I borrow a van to make it in through the front door and then decide to just get inside the camera network and, uh, well, get to work. I hack into the camera network and proceed to have probably the most riveting gameplay I've ever had on this channel. Looking through the cameras, I realize that all the dudes in the warehouse don't seem to spawn until you make it into the warehouse, so I have to make it inside first, and that comes with its own challenges. After making it inside, I hide inside of one of these containers and then just proceed to kill pretty much everybody in the entire area. This fight takes me a very long time, was probably one of the most boring fights I've ever done in this game. I'll put it like this. From the moment I made it inside of this plaza, it took me 40 minutes to clear out this mission because of how long it took to hack dudes through cameras and stuff. Is it kind of cool thematically? Yeah, it's kind of cool, but I kind of got bored after a while, not gonna lie. With that mission finally finished up, I decided to wrap it up for the day and pick it up the next morning. The next stream, I started to kind of go through all of my inventories, cleaning things up, and spending some of the perk points that I had kind of stashed up. I then decide to hop into the main mission where I go meet up with Placid and then go clear out the GIM of the animals. I make it to the front of the GIM and decide to just go in through the front door. After clearing out the front couple guards, I hack into a camera and get to work. Yeah, uh, I'll state it again. This will probably be the most exciting combat you'll ever see in any of my challenge runs. Uh, it's a lot of this. <laughs> Somehow, I'm still doing enough damage though. It's kind of crazy. Look at all of them together. That's perfect. There you go. Look at it go. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, let's hit this guy. The thing is, while I'm stealthing, like while I'm hidden, I do so much more damage, it's actually insane. This, uh, this combat is so bland to watch. So, cheers to all you guys for hanging out with me while I do this. <laughs> with everyone down and the Matilda boss fight coming up, I scan her real quick to find out her weaknesses. Uh, so she's weak to fire, huh? Uh, overheat. I think I'm gonna need to do initially, like, a lot of damage to break the thing on her back. Come at me. Break it. I think that worked. Okay, she knows where I am. The combat's... Maybe she does. Maybe she doesn't. She was just staying on the phone there. Okay, yeah, so it broke on her back. Let's hit her with the overheat. That's not really doing as much damage as I'd like. It's a lot of running around waiting for my ram to come back. How much damage? No damage? Resistant to electricity. Oh, so the sneak attack, though. Interesting. Okay. Uh... Okay, this isn't going too bad. Yeah, I'm still using the starting cyber deck. I just have a ton of RAM because of the perks in the intelligence skill tree. I'm actually shocked how many, how much RAM they give you for going in the intelligence skill tree. It's, it's working. It's slow. It's working. Uh, yeah. Okay, this should be it. <laughs> With Matilda down, I make my way to the Netwatch agent and have him clean up the malware that's on me. I have a quick chat with Placide and Brigitte and then jump into the Johnny Silverhand flashback. 
Now, to be real, I'm worried about this next combat segment involving the Voodoo Boys. As they are known as the spine-chilling net-running crew, it means that they're going to have an extremely high RAM cost, and I'm worried that there might be someone who is too expensive for me. But I still give it a shot anyway. I finish up the flashback, hop out of the ice bath, and start making my way up to the boss fight with Placid. Suddenly, my fear is realized. I can't kill Placid. I literally don't have enough RAM. I don't know if he got hit with the um, the breach protocol. Because I think this guy got hit with the breach protocol. I only saw one check up here. I want to make sure he's getting hit. It's the whole reason I want the breach protocol for him. Okay, where's Placid? Placid? He's offline. He's not even on the... He's not even in the the... the, the the family, so I can't even breach protocol him. It's very rare I hit situations like this, I feel like, because this game is really flexible with builds, but I really... Maybe I could have planned something a little better, but with the current restriction of the starting cyber deck... Okay, wh hold up, hold up. I just wanna I just wanna look something up. What does Ram Jolt do? How many? Increases Ram capacity by two for 30 minutes. So I'm at 13 Ram. Would I get... I think I would get two more Ram from the perks increase. We'd get one there, and we'd for sure get one from leveling this up all the way to 20. Yeah, because we'd have this perk too. Reduces cost of quick hacks by one RAM unit. And so, what do I do? I go all the way back to before I go talk with Placide and Brigitte, and then go run around the open world to get the final levels I need to finish out the intelligence skill tree and get the perks that I need to do this. I then go through the entire story once again, playing the Johnny Silverhand flashback through once again, jumping out of the ice bath, and make it to the fight with Placide once again. Because I think it said he was weak to fire when I was looking at him earlier. We're gonna place this with overheat. Ram jolt. Perfect. <sighs> we can do this fight. We can do this fight. No! <laughs> if I can just stay hidden and keep hitting him, that would be optimal, because then that means I do more damage too. But I have 30 minutes of Ram Jolt, so it, unless this fight takes 30 minutes, I think I'm good. Dang, he takes so long to quick hack. Jeez. Now he's revealing my position. Okay. Save scumming the detection? Yes, I am. I asked Chad if they, if it was legal, and they said yes, so I'm going with it. I'm going to blame you guys so I don't get the flack. <laughs> Although I'm still going to get the flack, because I'm still the one doing it. Oh no, enemies have been alerted. Let's go. <laughs> Take that, Blizzard. After quick saving and loading my way to victory, I decided to go meet up with Takemura and do the final mission before unlocking the end of the game. However, I noticed I have enough money to go get the pair of double jump legs that I really want, the fortified ankles. With that, I go meet up with Takemura and hop into the mission, play it safe. At this point, having a maximum 20 intelligence and a decent amount of sneak perks, I know that these guys probably aren't going to be that big of an issue for me. All I do is hit them with a contagion, immediately reduce their ram cost because they're being affected by a quick hack, and then hit them with a short circuit, immediately taking them down. This pretty much works for every enemy in this entire encounter, and I'm able to push my way through to the fight with Oda. Alright. 55, 1C, boom. Hit you with the no. contagion. He's resistant to fire, but not to shock. Okay, so it should still do something. Okay, how much? So he's at 92%. What's contagion going to do? Is it really only going to do 8-4%? Oh no, dude. How much does short circuit do? 6%. Okay, short circuit's better. Okay, so I need to I need to have max ram, because if he decides to go heal, I need to be able to stop him. This is going to be a long fight. Can I get out of combat, maybe? Okay, nope. 
Now, why did that one not do damage? Do I have to alternate? I think I'm going to have to alternate. <laughs> he, like, froze in the air. All of his, like, glitchy effects are, like, not working because he's being poisoned. That's so funny. Do it again. Do it again. Look at him go. <laughs> so epic. Look at him go. <laughs> Good. So as long as I can keep my ram all the way up, I can always respond to his heal. We're good. This is just going to take a long time. Can I get out of combat? He's just standing there. I could do a lot more damage. <gasps> Huge. I can't save right now? Okay, that's fine. My game froze? I don't think the game liked this. <laughs> the music's still playing. Dude, I'm going to have to, like, ult F4 this guy. No? Wow. All right. Task manager it is. We're not going to get out of combat anymore. <laughs> so, of course, as luck would have it, this isn't the only time this happened to me. This happened a total of five times. And mind you, this fight took forever. From the moment I started this fight and even finished it the next day when I streamed, it took me over an hour to finally take down Oda. And of course, the issue wasn't my RAM consumption, it wasn't my ability to play the game, it, I think, has to do with the graphics. And this is one of those things that just annoys me, because CDPR keeps putting out these updates every so often that's supposed to make your game look better, and it just always seems to break the game and make it worse. I don't need extra ray tracing. Like, just make it perform better and more stable. Stop messing with it and making it have better ray tracing. I couldn't care any less anymore. Why I think this has to do with graphics is because someone in my comments on my final attempt told me not to look at Oda while I was quick hacking him. And it turns out that's what fixed it. When he wasn't being rendered in my field of view, was how I was able to get through this thing, which means it has something to do with the graphics. Not only that, but this fight seems to have gotten more unstable. If I hit Oda with a quick hack while he's jumping somewhere, he gets stuck in midair and just sits there. He can't move, he can't run away to go heal. Also, if I hit him with a quick hack while he's trying to get to where he needs to heal, uh, that seems to also trigger this and break the game. So, this fight was really annoying and just took forever and was just felt like a big waste of time. Him again. No. Why'd you have to jump up? I'll look away. Please don't break. Please don't break. Looking away. Please don't break. It's a new banger coming to you guys. Uh, it's next month. Please don't break. Okay. okay, we're still good. Looking away seems to be helping. Okay. Braid. What is your status? Yes, I... finally. Oh, I can't quick act to kill him. He's breathing. Dang it. He's so annoying. <laughs> For now. Let's grab all the stuff. With Oda finally down, I go meet up with Hanako and Takemura at this sketchy hotel. And then Arasaka shows up, and we watch Takemura T-pose on them as usual. I then decide to jump up and save Takemura, and we begin to push our way out the building, making sure to clear everyone out before I finally leave the mission. After getting out safely, having a talk with Hanako through a proxy, and having a nice chat with Johnny about our future, I left you guys with the decision to choose the ending for this run, and to my surprise, most of you guys said to go with the avocados. So I go meet up with Pan Am, and we head out to go save Saul. As you would expect with this mission though, I just hop into cameras and slowly clean out the entire area, eventually saving Saul and we make it out of there. Since I have to do something while waiting for phone calls from Pan Am, you guys recommended it and we decided to go and do the races with Claire. So in between the missions with Pan Am, I start just doing some street races. <laughs> What's this guy doing? <laughs> 
Oh, oh. <laughs> because I was getting tired of driving Claire's truck, I decided to go, uh, make some money real quick. Wow, look at all that money I just made. And then go buy one of my favorite cars in the game. After finishing up those three races, we get the call from Pan Am and go with the avocados to go grab the basilisk. With having grabbed the basilisk and Pan Am telling me to wait up until it's fixed for me to come check it out, I decide it's time to go do the finale of the race. But turns out Pan Am calls me literally like right away, so uh, I just decide to actually go follow up with her. Except for there's something a little off about her, I think. So I head over to the avocado camp and jump into the basilisk. I notice Mitch has some great eyebrows. You've already seen Pan Am's missing eyes. And after using the basilisk to clear out the enemies invading the avocados, uh, someone tells me to open my menu, and I don't really understand why. Please open inventory. Why? <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> so, after finishing this mission, having all the conversations, and unlocking the ending with the avocados, I do do a game restart, that way all my textures are back. After reloading and having all my textures back to normal, I make my way to Embers to go meet up with Hanako. After getting through all the cutscenes and eventually deciding to go with the avocados, I give Pan Am a call. We head back to their camp, have a lot of conversations, and become an official member of the avocados. And the next morning, Pan Am and I hop into the basilisk and we go after this drill site. After we hop out of the basilisk, I, I feel like I've said basilisk a lot. All these combat encounters coming up pretty much go the exact same way. I hit one dude with contagion, contagion spreads around like crazy. I short circuit a couple people and the avocados help finish them off for me. We make our way through it all, hop back in the basilisk, clean out the rest of the enemies, and make our way to the drill. Running into the first group of enemies, a squad of robots, they go down really easily with just a couple short circuits. And using the power of contagion, short circuit, and quick saving and quick loading, uh, this, this segment goes pretty quick. Finally, we upload alt into the system and make our way to the fight with Adam Smasher. Yeah, I'm sure Saul will be fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. No, Saul! Okay, can I? Yeah, breach protocol. Let's go. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And he is weak to electricity. Oh my gosh! Yeah, he's weak. Oh, wow. That was significant. Ah, uh, he's in his invulnerable state. I did it too early. Oh, I could die from this. Dang. All the dudes are coming out this time. Ooh, that was good damage that time. Oh, let's go with Pan Am. Jeez. Pain. I've forgotten the sensation. There you go. Take some more pain. Boop. Reloading. Cover me. Ugh. 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 Just... What are you? You're just too easy. Let's say bye to us all. You were a true avocado. I am. I'm going to miss that constant bickering. He was the such a good avocado. Fights. 
Oh, right. Uh, it's fine. That's net running, right? And there it is, finishing up the budget Netrunner challenge. Honestly, this went way different than I expected. Obviously, there were some really interesting situations like with Placide not having enough RAM. Also, that Oda fight was just something else. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this run. I am really thankful to everybody who supports me and the content I create. Like I said, I'm going to start streaming all of these challenge runs. So if you want to be up to date and be ready for them, make sure to hit the notification bell. Also, I'm letting my channel members now decide the next challenge runs that I'm going to do. And it looks like my members decided on what I'm considering the Mario run run where I'm using the Berserk Stomp ability. That's going to be my only way to damage and only way to kill. Uh, and I'll just say this, I've already tested it a little bit and I regret this decision massively. But you know what? I'm going to stream it. So if you want to see me suffer, come hang out when I do it. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.